Welcome to Electron Online. We will show you more example of long division later in this, uh, this playlist and also we'll give you more details about synthetic division but first let's show you how that actually works. So here we left uh, the problem from the previous video on where we used long division where we took this numerator divided by x minus 1 and so the result was 8x squared plus 10x minus 3. We're going to do the same thing now with synthetic division. Notice we're going to rewrite all the numerical exponents of our numerator over here. Again, our division symbol. But to the left, instead of writing x minus 1, we're going to write the root of the denominator. So when we set x minus 1 equal to 0, which means x equals 1, this is the root of the denominator that goes in here. Now the next thing we do is we draw a line right here and we drop the first number all the way down to here. So we don't do anything, we simply drop it down here. Now what we do is we multiply this number times 8 and put it there. So 1 times 8 gives us 8, then we add those two together, that gives us 10. Then we multiply 1 times 10 and we put it here, we add the two together, we get minus 3. Then we multiply 1 times negative 3, we put it here, we add it together, we get 0. Now notice, if this last number is 0, that means the denominator divides into the numerator exactly with no remnant left. Then the result will be, we take these three numbers right here, the result therefore is that this is equal to 8x squared plus 10x minus 3, which is the exact same result that we got before. Notice how slick and easy that is. Again, we take the numerical coefficients of the four terms, we put it here. Over here, we put the root of the denominator, so we have x minus 1, set it equal to 0, solve for x, we get x equals 1. Then, we put a line here, we drop the first number down. 1 times 8 gives us 8, we add the 2 together, gets us 10. 1 times 10 is 10, add the 2 together, we get negative 3. 1 times negative 3 is negative 3, add them together, we get 0, which means there's no remainder. If there's no remainder, we know that the denominator exactly fits in the numerator, and then the quotient is 8x squared plus 10x minus 3, which is obtained from using these three numbers right here. And that is how that's done.